what is up you guys welcome back to the channel if you're new around here my name is hannah if you're not new welcome back i feel like you can tell what this video is about just based on the title but i decided to bring you guys along with me as i pack for my upcoming ski trip i actually just got back from new mexico on monday today's thursday so it's a quick turnaround in regards to packing but we're headed to Crested Butte this weekend. This was my Christmas gift from John. He got us an Airbnb in Crested Butte or like around Crested Butte to ski the area, walk around the town. We are leaving tomorrow, which is Friday, and we get back Sunday. So it's a pretty quick trip, but I figured I would just take you guys along with me and like walk you guys through like my packing list of things that I like to pack for a ski trip. I just did this for New Mexico. I, I didn't record the packing for New Mexico. I honestly should have. I just like didn't feel like it, but I do have a travel vlog for New Mexico, so you can go watch that. I feel like I nailed what I needed for that ski trip when we went to New Mexico, so I feel like very prepped for this upcoming weekend. All that being said, I'm taking you guys along with as we pack. Let's start with my packing list, just like while I'm sitting here on the floor awkwardly, might as well make use of it. We'll screenshot my packing list and put it on the screen so that you guys can either screenshot this if you need inspo for a ski trip packing list or just so you guys can follow along so i always break down my packing list by day i always do it in the notes app this is the notes app on your iphone i always get questions about that too of whether or not i like use a specific app for packing and i just always use the notes app and in the notes app you can use like little check mark there's like a check mark feature so I personally do that and I break down my trip by the days that I'm going to be there, including the day that I'm leaving and including the day that I'm coming back. So I have Friday night, Saturday, and then Sunday for this trip. So Friday night, and if I look over to my right, it's because I'm literally like looking at my iPad. So I'm just like reading this as I'm talking to you guys. But Friday night, we are leaving after work. So I'll already be dressed for the day. So I didn't like put an outfit on this list for Friday, but I do need to pack pajamas because... I'll wear the same pajamas Friday night and Saturday night since we're only there two nights. So I put that on the list and then Saturday I kind of broke up the list into two different sections. So Saturday I have like a ski list and then I also have a nighttime list. So for skiing I have sports bra, leggings, thermal long sleeve shirt, a sweatshirt. I'm not really sure what the temperature is going to be like so I always just bring a warm long sleeve shirt and then a sweatshirt just in case i need to layer up my ski pants my ski jacket because my ski jacket is different than like my aritzia puffer jacket i have a specific jacket for skiing beanie my ski gloves my ski gaiter and ski socks so those are all the things that i have specifically for skiing that day so after skiing we'll most likely go back to the airbnb shower and then put on an outfit to walk around the town and go out to dinner so i wanted to pack a nighttime outfit i rented some stuff off of fashion pass this week so i'll show you guys the outfits in a little bit and i actually need to try some of them on but i'm pulling those pieces for this trip so i have this really cool long black trench coat style jacket that i'm gonna bring i have dark jeans i rented a sweater or two and then i'm gonna pack my thinner gloves because i have a feeling it's gonna be chilly in the mountains saturday we have the ski outfit and then we have the nighttime outfit and then like i said i'm gonna just wear the pajamas that i brought from friday night because i wear my pajamas two nights in a row not sure if that's gross, but I don't really sweat at night, so I feel like it's fine. And then Sunday is another road trip day. I'm assuming we'll walk around the town in the morning, probably get coffee, breakfast, but I feel like I want to be comfy, like a transition outfit from walking around the town to being in the car for four hours. So I'm just going to wear leggings, a sweater, and, and then my winter boots, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to pair with every single outfit. So I'll just wear those in the car on Friday, which is why they're not on the list. So I have that for Sunday, just a cute, casual walk around the town outfit but also comfy to ride in the car and then other stuff that i'm bringing that aren't really clothes or are kind of clothes but i just put them on this separate section is the boot dryer we have this portable boot dryer which i'll show you in a minute and three pairs of underwear two pairs of socks i rented a black purse off of fashion pass i'm going to bring that and then obviously my skis and ski boots. That's kind of the gist of this packing list for this trip. I may add or remove things as we go. I'm not really sure. I feel like I make this list as like a base for what I want to bring, but things can change as I'm packing obviously. So we'll see what else I end up putting on here or removing. Okay, we have the ski stuff 
laid out so far so i guess i'll just like walk you through what we have for this this is a sweatshirt that i was talking about that i like to pair over my long sleeve shirt i just pick a sweatshirt without a hoodie on it like literally anyone that's in my closet it just adds an extra layer of warmth i sometimes don't wear it because i literally sweat when i ski but on the days where it is very chilly these come in handy then i have my ski pants my ski pants are from north face if i can find them online i will link them down below i will say they're not the most flattering pair of ski pants but i do feel like they work really well and they keep me super super warm then we have my gator i bought this at a local ski shop in denver so i can't link it but it's just a normal thermal gator then we have the Burton beanie. I'll probably wear this to the ski resort, but not actually skiing because it doesn't fit under my helmet. But I got this when we visited Vermont last year or two years ago. Vermont? Yeah. That was like three years ago. That wasn't three years ago, was it? No, I think it was two years ago. I think two years ago, but I could be wrong. And then these gloves. I actually have a new pair of North Face gloves that I have yet to break out because it hasn't been super, super cold. But... I like these ones, they're fine, they work. I don't know the brand of them, but I have those. And then I'm bringing a thinner layer of gloves. These are the brand Heed Head. I think it's Head, I'm not really sure. But I'll probably wear these on the town that night. And then regarding like my base layers, I have ski socks. I just wear a Nike sports bra. These are set active leggings. I literally wear any pair of leggings that I have. I don't have like specific base layers for skiing. I actually want to invest in some fun base layers, but they're just super, super expensive. So I use normal leggings. I don't notice a difference to be completely honest. I think they work fine as long as they stay up and they're warm. And then I actually wear this long sleeve thermal shirt from Uniqlo. I really, really like this. I wear this every single weekend. It is incredibly warm and it's specifically for cold climates. I wouldn't say it's the most like sweat resistant shirt that I own, but again, I feel like it's cheap for a base layer. Base layers can be like upwards of hundreds of dollars, so I tend to go for the cheap things that just like work really well, and then I will invest later on. This is everything that I have for the ski stuff, and then we have the ski jacket up here. I need to air it out because it smells like smoke. Our hotel room from New Mexico last weekend had a fireplace, and it made our entire room smell super smoky, so there are still things that smell like smoke. This is one of them. Didn't realize it until I just pulled it out of the like our front doorway closet area so i need to let that air out but this is from the brand roxy i believe and i also like it i wouldn't say it's my favorite ski jacket that i've ever owned but it works for the season this is like my typical go-to ski items bedroom despite the lighting because I need to get into the closet so I need to try on some of the fashion pass stuff that I got in the mail yesterday because I haven't had the opportunity to try it on but I figured I would pull some of the jackets that I was talking about so we one have this really pretty long black slash brown I don't know if it's like a chevron pattern like kind of but not in like the tacky 2016 chevron way and it's from the brand aster i've rented a few items on fashion pass from the brand aster and i've loved every single item that i've rented um so i'd highly recommend but this is what it looks like up close it's just a super heavy duty long trench so this is a jacket option and then i also have two more jackets this one is from the brand varley and it's super cool i forgot what this is called this is um stucco i think is like the type of texture technically but it's a little bit softer than that but it resembles i think it's stucco i could be completely wrong in saying that but it's super big puffer and it's like this cream color so obviously would go with a lot and then we have this jacket this brown leather with so fur on the collar and the sleeves. I don't think this is the Crested Butte vibe because it's gonna be not super warm, I don't think, to wear, but maybe a cool going out to dinner in Denver fit. I just 
like the style of it and it's definitely out of my comfort zone. It's from the brand Miu Miu. So I'm excited to wear it, but I don't think it's a crested view vibe. I'm gonna put it back. And then these are the two purses that we rented from Fashion Pass. I have this little brown one, which if I wear the white puffer, this could be super cute, but it's very tiny. Will maybe not even hold my phone to be honest. And then I have this cute black one as well. Very tiny. This one smells interesting. It smells like perfume. This one would go with the black coat. We have those. And then I didn't go into this with the intention of giving you guys a full fashion pass haul, but I feel like what I'm picking between is a lot of fashion pass stuff. So I might as well just show you guys the full haul. I got these jeans from the brand Rolas. I think they're gonna be a little small to be honest. The waist just seems super, super tiny. Rolas is a brand that stretches out as you wear it though. So even if it's super tight initially, as you wear it around, it loosens up in the waist. But I just thought the pockets were really cool. And I like this brand overall. It's a size 28, so we'll have to see. And then we have these jeans. These are some dark denim from Rolas as well. These are also a size. 28 but the waist looks a little bigger on these which i'm kind of vibing with so i'm gonna try these on and then we have this sweater which looks extremely small for medium in my opinion it's from the brand john and jen but i liked the color this was a last minute pick because a few of the other things that were at the top of my list were not available to rent so i picked this last minute just a simple sweater so i don't know i'm gonna try on a few things and then decide. I'm gonna try on the first outfit that I have in mind just to see how I think it looks. And then we can go from there. So this is the idea for the first outfit. I tried on the jeans. They are a little bit snug in the waist, but again, like I said, Rolas kind of run small and I feel like you have to wear the jeans to stretch them out. So the more I wear them, the more they're stretching out for sure. But the 28 is very snug. I don't know what sweater I would wear, but I just wanted to see what the jeans would look like with the jacket because I feel like the jeans and the jacket themselves would kind of be the fit. So this is one option. I kind of think it's cute. Very warm, like I'd be snug as a bug in a rug. So this is an option. Okay, I actually really like this sweater. I think it's flattering. Normally I like my sweaters to be like super baggy and not tight just because I don't think that tight sweaters are like the most flattering on me personally. But I feel like the structure of this one is just really cute. Like I like the fit of it and it feels super soft. So this is also a contender. I want to try on the dark wash jeans with this though. Okay, these are the dark wash jeans. I can't tell if I love them or not. They fit better than the black, I think, but I just don't know if this style is for me. I kind of think they make me look short <laughs> in like the weirdest way possible. But I guess that's the beauty of renting stuff is that I could wear them once, decide I don't like them, and then send them back, you know? And I want to try on the jacket. Oh yeah, it's a big puffa. This jacket is massive on me, but I kind of vibe with it. Like this would probably be the second outfit. I don't know. I can't tell if this jacket's like too big or not. Did I adjust this? I don't know. I kind of think I like the black better with the oversized trench. I feel like this could just be fun for a different day. Like, can I wear this sweater with those black jeans? I want to see if the sweater looks weird with the black trench. Yeah, I feel like the sweater peeking through kind of looks weird. So maybe like a black shirt. Okay, I think I picked out my Saturday night outfit. Okay, we moved the packing party in here because my suitcase is in here and the living room got taken over. But I think as far as outfits go, I'm gonna do the sweater and leggings for the trip home on Sunday and then the black jeans with a black bodysuit and the big trench coat for Saturday night. clothes packed. The only thing 
left that goes in the suitcase I need to stock this up but a lot of the stuff that goes in this I actually need for tonight and tomorrow so I'm just gonna leave it be for now and we'll stock this up like after I brush my teeth and use my face medicine and things like that tomorrow so I'm just gonna put it in here to get it out of the way but that's that I want to do a mid pack vibe check of the packing list so we have pajamas, sports bra, leggings, long sleeve sweatshirt, ski pants, ski jacket, beanie, ski gloves, gator, ski, sco ski socks, ski socks, wow, jacket, jeans, sweater, thinner gloves, leggings, sweater, we have three pairs of underwear, two pairs of socks, black purse I'm gonna bring with me in the car tomorrow, skis and ski boots, I'll show you my ski and ski boot setup in a minute, I think we're good to go for clothes. I need to get the boot dryer. I'll show you guys what that looks like. I actually don't know where it is. Where's the, is the boot dryer in the closet? Yeah, it's in the Boot dryer that I was talking about. John actually got me these for Christmas and they have come in handy big time. And I think they're perfect if you travel a lot to ski because not only do they have like a port for your car, but it's just a super simple wall plug-in. We know people that also have the stands that you can get that like you can leave in your hallway to put your boots upside down on to dry, which is great for a more stationary option. But if you don't ski frequently, you're in an Airbnb, you travel a lot, whatever the case may be, I feel like these are super, super helpful. We use these every single weekend because obviously you don't want wet boots, but also they're just like easy to store. So love these. These were a great gift, I will have to say. And... We use them all the time. So I'm gonna pack these in my suitcase, I think. And I'm gonna try to pack one less bag than I did last weekend. Last weekend I packed a suitcase and my yellow Vera Bradley duffel. I think that was just a lot. So I'm gonna try to get it down to just one suitcase and a purse based on what I bring. So I think I can put the boot dryers in there. So that's one less thing on the list. I actually put my black purse on the suitcase just so I don't forget it. This can go in the closet another thing that i'm packing that i forgot to add to the list is the new gopro john surprised me with a new gopro and i'm so excited to take this skiing this weekend and just to use it moving forward if you guys know or watch the channel i've been using the gopro 8 for years like i literally think since high school so it's over I almost said eight years, but it's probably been like 10 years, nine or 10 years since I've had that GoPro. So, so it was time for an upgrade. Also, the last few vlogs that I've tried to use the GoPro in, the footage has just been really bad and really shaky. So this GoPro is gonna improve the game. It has a stabilizer in it, so the footage won't be super shaky. It has a front camera so I can see what I'm doing. There's different settings that you can put it in for different sports and different modes and stuff like that. So we were playing around with it earlier and I mean the quality is just so good. So I'm so excited to bring this with. So I almost forgot to add this to the list, but we are bringing it with. And then he also got me a case with a ton of accessories. I need to open all these up. I actually have a similar kit for my other GoPro, but like half of the stuff is missing. So this is really nice that... We have back the other missing stuff. It has things like a wrist strap. It has like something that you can put on your helmet. There's more tripods, floating devices, car tripod, a harness to put over yourself. I don't know, there's just like so much stuff in this kit. I actually need to take it all out and see what we're working with, but this, is the biggest item that's gonna be a game changer for the ski vlogs is that we now have a pole so I can hold it up while I ski. I was using a different tripod before for the other GoPro and honestly it like just wasn't working that well so this is gonna be a game changer. I need to figure out how to install it. The bottom of this is not matching with this but anyways I feel like I should just pack I don't know if I should pack this whole kit in my suitcase or if I should just put it in the car or if I should just bring what I'm going to use. I don't know, but I wanted to show you guys this because I'm very excited about it and also very grateful. So excited for the content that's going to be filmed for the vlog 
with this baby. I feel like it's just gonna be next level. Now for the skis and the ski bag, I figured I'd walk you through a mini what's in my ski bag. Well, both my boot bag and my skis. Okay, we had to take a quick intermission to fix my camera because the screw fell at the back. If you have a G7X, you know the deal with the screws. They are a pain in the butt. Luckily, I was able to find this one when it fell out and disaster averted. Like I said, we're gonna do a quick what's in my ski bag, ski bags. Plural. I have the High Sierra brand for both my boot bag and my ski bag. I would not say it's like the best brand on the market. I got these from Amazon. In fact, it's probably like one of the cheapest brands on the market. Although I will say that I've seen quite a few people at the resorts that we've been to that have the same brand as me. So I know it's popular. The only thing is just it's not padded. So like my boots aren't padded. My skis aren't padded. So it wouldn't be great for traveling on a plane or anything of that sort. But we keep them in our apartment and then we gently put them in the car and things of that sort so it works for what we use it for so i'll have them linked down below what's my boot bag you'll actually be surprised because i fit a lot of stuff in this small boot bag but i have my helmet i've had this helmet for years um i literally think since middle school high school maybe um it's probably time for a new helmet to be honest but it works for now it's the anon brand and it's a little bit old-fashioned i feel like a lot of the helmets now are a bit modern they have like bluetooth headphones in them and the technology is just a little better so i could probably do with an upgrade soon but it fits so i have been using it and then i have smith goggles these are new as of last year i really like them they are pink and blue and they come with a second lens so they come with a clear lens or clear-ish lens i have yet to use these i feel like i'll probably end up using them if we go night skiing because i feel like that's the only time i would really use a clear lens i probably wouldn't use these in the daylight because i think they're just kind of goofy looking but they do come with that which is really nice and i keep both my goggles and my gloves in my helmet buckled and then in my boot bag because it actually protects the goggles. So it's a little cushion and it fits in there. That's perfect. And then my boots, I have the Nordica Force 3 Speed Machines. These boots are so specific to the person and to your feet. So if you're new to skiing, I wouldn't necessarily just like go out and buy these. Based on my recommendation, I do really like them. They are caked in mud on the bottom, but I do really like them. They fit well for my feet. I, I did go to REI to get these fitted. I actually bought an, a different brand from REI, tested them out for one day, hated them, went back to REI in exchange for these pair. And not only did they mold them to my feet, but I also bought footbeds for the bottom of the boot. So that's why I'm saying your boots are so individual to you as a person. It's the way your calves are, the way you stand, your arch, everything of that sort. So. I would honestly just rec recommend going into either an REI that's near you that sells ski boots or go to a local boot shop and have them fit them to your feet because I could recommend these and love them but you could try them on and like absolutely hate them so just keep that in mind although I do like that brand a lot so I keep my boots, helmet, and I also put my ski pants in here they fit at the top perfectly so I stuff a lot in this little ski bag and I like it. I'll probably keep it for many years to come just because it's easy to toss around. I feel like if we start traveling to ski, like to Switzerland or Japan or Italy, I'll probably buy like a travel boot and ski set, just ones that are more padded, but these work for now. And then I have pins or I've started collecting pins for the places that we've been to. So I have one from Taos from last weekend and I have one for Breckenridge. I still need to get one for Keystone and then I'll also get one for Crested Butte. I do want to go back and buy one for Whiteface too because we skied Lake Class last year. So I've started collecting pins and I've been putting them on my ski bag, which I just think is like a fun little way to remember all the mountains that I've skied. And then for my skis, I don't even know how to show you guys these without creating a mess but this is my ski bag i don't like this one as much as i like my boot bag even though they're the same brand because it doesn't zip all the way down it zips like 
three quarters of the way and there's this weird strap that gets in the way so when i try to take these out of the bag it's a little bit of a struggle so i'm not going to take them all the way out but you guys will get the gist I keep my poles and my skis in here and you can see like i said this is not padded it's literally just an insulated bag to help me carry around my skis and my poles i have the 9200 carbon composite poles from the brand good there aren't that many pole brands out on the market so i feel like these are pretty popular john actually has these exact same ones as well i honestly don't know how long they'll last me they're already starting to rust a little bit which is concerning but for a cheap pole they're not bad and then i have the atomic mavins for skis these are a great intermediate ski i would say i probably if i were to buy these again i would buy them a little bit shorter I bought the 161 centimeters based on my height, but I kind of like my skis to be a little bit shorter. I think I've come to the realization these will be fine and I'll continue to use them for years to come. But that would be one tip that I have is that go one size shorter than you think that you actually are if you're like an intermediate skier because I just think that they're a little bit too long for me. But that's my own issue. They're really pretty. They're blue and purple. I've showed them in the vlogs before. Like I said, I'm not going to get them out because... This bag is a pain in the butt, but I do really like them. I bought them from an online sports store for a pretty decent price. I feel like they always run sales. I'll have the store link down below and I'll have the skis link down below because skis are one thing where you can take recommendations from other people. I found the only thing that you'll need to adjust is obviously the size of the skis. But if you're pretty similar skill level to someone else, I feel like you can take recommendations for skis from someone else. So I do really like these and I like the pole. So I'll have both these linked down below. I'll also link my boots in case you're curious. But like I said, I would just recommend going into a store and having someone fit you in boots rather than buying from a recommendation because everyone's feet are so particular. We also always leave our ski stuff in this corner. So I'll know to grab that tomorrow morning. And then I'm leaving my suitcase open there because like I said, I still have a few things to pack tomorrow after like i brush my teeth and wash my face and things of that sort anyways that's it for today's video that's everything that i'm packing for our two night two and a half day ski trip i hope you guys got some good ideas like i mentioned i will pop a lot of stuff that i mentioned down below if i remember slash if i can find a link for it and i also popped the packing list up on the screen if you guys find that helpful i know in previous packing videos you guys have asked for like my packing list and like i said a lot of times i do them in notes so i can't really share that i need to find a better way to share my packing list with you guys so that you guys can use them for the future but for now i feel like a screenshot will do the trick so just screenshot the packing list that i uploaded to the vlog because that's what we're working with for now but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on the crested butte vlog you can also go back and watch all the other travel vlogs that I have on my channel, I have so many packing videos, so many travel videos, you name it, I have it. I have it all in a playlist, so I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys to check out. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.